be Taurus, this is Soul. And Taurus, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of August 22nd through the 28th, 2016. Okay, so let's get right into your messages, Taurus, for some bulls that I'm reading for. Uh, you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the Prince of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so this is a week for some of you about being indecisive it's uncertainty and not you know sure about what to do okay so let me just expand on that because you know first and foremost this is a general reading so I'm going to try to cover all areas Taurus for you uh, that I possibly can in aspects of your life okay so when I'm about to say or just apply it to your situation. Some of you are just going to be indecisive. The simpler aspect of this uh, Prince of Swords showing up in the reverse, it could be just, you know, do I take the kids to uh, the swimming pool or to the park today? You know, one of those things. Or do I shop at Giant or do I shop at Acme? You know, it's just a choice. But you're not sure which one. Um, that's for those bulls that I'm reading for in a simpler tone. Um, there could be something going on that's much more heavier uh, for some of you in terms of, you know, having to make a decision. But you're undecided about which, what to do and what direction possibly, to, you know, to turn to, especially when it comes to relationships, because the next card up is the lover's card in the reverse, uh, Taurus. And the lover's card I always like to get when it's in the upright, because that's just harmony. You know, everything is. Uh, you know, and dealing with another person, you're on the same page, you're, you're thinking alike. Um, and this is just not romantic. This could also be friendships. It could be business partnerships. It could be, you know, family members, co-workers. And, the, you know, in the reverse, it's, it's totally opposite. Now, keep in mind, this is a major arcana, major life event. So it really trumps the nine of knight of swords or the, I'm sorry. The Prince of Swords is showing up in the reverse. Okay, so this is more powerful than that. And it's going to, you know, trump everything else for you for the week. So some of you may just go through the week feeling like uh, you're just not, you know, getting along with your partner, with your friends, you know, family members, co-workers, biz, you know, anything, business partners. And it may come across like that. The six of, uh, I always say six, but the lover's card, because it is a six, numbered wise, the lover's represents sometimes because of this powerful energy, it could represent the, the parting of ways of romantic relationships, partnerships, you know, business partnerships, friendships. It could be, a, you know, being with the nine of swords showing up in a decision or being indecisive about split separating from a job you're not sure but keep in mind that when this uh, prince of uh, sword shows up in the reverse that means the the emotions are going to be um, that much more in control so you may make a decision based on emotion alone as opposed to the night night I don't know why I want to keep saying night, but it's the Prince of Swords in the reverse. It's about you gaining clarity and being determined, but also it represents you used your logical mind as opposed to your emotional heart. Now, in the reverse, that's just what it means. You're using your emotional heart to possibly uh, outweigh some sort of decision that may come your way this is the indecisiveness okay so your emotions are taking this toll for some of you about having to make a decision the decision might be related to a relationship with the lovers in the reverse you're not sure about what you want to do could be involving because it is the swords air signs you know Gemini Libra Aquarius male female it could be any zodiac sign now, the most interesting thing that I'm seeing here in terms of this, because I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to make this as positive as I possibly can, because even though it's we have the lovers in the reverse and that's major, 
but we also have the two of cups so for those single bulls let me just speak about that there could be a potential of you meeting and connecting with someone new now you may be at odds with uh, one another when you initially meet uh, because of the lovers being uh, in reverse but there's still the potential of you connecting with new energy also this is not only romantic but it could be a uh, friendship as well this two of cups comes in uh, to represent there could be uh, someone giving birth to twins yeah someone giving birth to twins and I say that because of the lovers card it represents Gemini so in the reverse if Gemini is in the upright, that means there's four, four identities. In the reverse, that means there's two. So maybe there's somebody giving birth to twins. That If it's not you, Taurus, then it's somebody that you know may give birth to twins. Okay? And it may be this week. But I do feel that there may not be a parting of the ways. When it comes to the lovers being in reverse, when it, you know, relationships wise, because we have the two of cups here. And even though it's minor, there may be some sort of, um, you know, talks that prevent, the, you know, that separation or that ending of a friendship. Now, if this two of cups was in the reverse along with that, then I would just say, you know what? I can't even read for you, Taurus, because it's that bad. It's going to be that bad, potentially. But it's not. It's not really a bad reading. It all depends on how um, you receive the messages and what's going on in your life personally, okay? Because Friday going in uh, to the weekend, now we have the Seven of Swords. So, you know, this is about conflicts. So this might just be Taurus's week to deal with relationship issues that bring about conflict and stress. Uh, I also feel, again, you know, it, it could be, you know, Taurus dealing with air signs again, but it could be any zodiac sign. If you see the swords and you see the, the lines drawn, it's like you want to, some of you are out there wanting to cut through bullshit. That's what that sword is representing. You want to cut through dealing with bullshit. And it's usually bullshit of other people coming from other people. And it might be that their uh, energy is testing your patience. Interesting. Oh, it should be interesting. Like I said before, I don't know why, you know, for... The two of cups to show up in the middle. It could be the formation of the singles meeting someone new, but still having some sort of um, indifferences with that individual. And it could be, like I said, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male, female, any zodiac sign. Somebody has to make a decision about a relationship. That's what I'm getting. With the uh, Prince of Swords and the Reverse and the Lovers. Okay. All right. Let me see. The. Yeah, see, the two of cups is the two people. And in the uh, upright position, is about being on the same page, seeing eye to eye, magnetic attraction, and harmony. So maybe it's the beginning of the week that some of this energy you feel, if it's not starting already, and then there's some sort of turnaround. Um, you know, involving a friendship or relationship. Or some of you just experience a little bit of happiness and emotional fulfillment with the two of cups showing up related to a friendship or a relationship. OK, I don't want to keep sounding redundant. So that's your reading, Taurus. Um, I try to pick apart 
the best that I could for you in terms of the messages that I was receiving. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the Golden Path Oracle card that I have selected for you is Rose Petals. So Rose Petal says the path is beginning to clear and all obstacles will soon vanish. Your time of waiting is over and you move forward with confidence and renewed clarity. The blocks and challenges you faced in recent months were essential to your ultimate success. Sometimes it's best to wait and sometimes the universe acts on our behalf. For just as nature has her seasons, we too have our seasons. <clears throat> we also have our seasons. We must respect life's ebb and flow. There is a time to move and a time to be still. Now is your time. Your dreams come to fruition. And it feels like rose petals fall down from heaven. Enjoy your journey. Okay, so this may be um, connected to the energy of the two of cups that's shown up in the upright as a formation of a uh, newly developed friendship or a romantic partnership for those single bulls. And as always, the above reading, if it doesn't resonate with you, Taurus, the oracle cards are drawn because there may be a message in there for you that does and vice versa. So, all right. So once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, I do appreciate you and I do wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, Taurus, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.